Hi there YouTube, you're with Got That Funk, and I am just in the process of having a um, chicken fowl. And um, a chicken fowl is the hottest Indian curry that you can get. Um, this curry is so hot that um, the people who cook it for me won't even eat it because it's so hot. Um, when, I, when I first came to this country, my first missus used to tell me all kinds of stupid shit that I fell for because I'm stupid and gullible. And she once told me that, and this is her words, not mine, she said, only Indians can eat a fowl. White people could never eat an entire fowl because it's just too hot. And I've believed that for years. And then, um, because I thought, you know, uh, people in Indian families must get raised with this stuff so they acquire a tolerance. I'm sure there are some things that my palate just couldn't handle. So anyway, a few years ago, about four years ago, or five, the guy who works for me, I told him that story. And he's like, oh, I'll try one one of these days and let you know. And I'm like, yeah, dude, you'll never finish it. It won't happen. And um, he came into work for me one time, and he's like, yeah, I had a foul the other night. I was like, you fucking what? I said, did you finish it? And he finished like three quarters of it. And he said he couldn't quite get through the rest. And I'm like, well, that was pretty impressive, but if you can do three quarters, I, now I have to try one and see if I can do one. And, of course, the first time you have a foul is a fucking chore because you're going to pour with sweat and your mouth is on fucking fire, but it's beautiful. The fucking flavor is to die for. I wish I could share this with you right now. It's amazing. But anyways, I'm about a third or a quarter. Whoa, shit. That wasn't very bright, was it? Of the way through. Now, that's really funny. Hang on a second. Get the rice off my chair so I don't smash it into my pants. Anyways, the dogs can have that. Fucking A. Anyway, so yeah, I'm not even drunk. Um, yeah. Where the fuck was I? I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, so, about a quarter or a third of the way through it. And any, no any moment now, my head is going to erupt and pour with water. And um, it's, you know, not exactly pleasant, but it's not unpleasant either. And it's just my head. The rest of me doesn't sweat. And then like any minute now, it's going to start. So I'm just going to keep on munching this shit. And if it takes a long time, don't worry. I'm going to edit it out so you don't have to sit here and watch me eat my dinner. But I wish you could taste this shit, man. This is beautiful. And as with other hot curries as well, a chicken fowl, uh, the next day isn't exactly, um, you know, like Christmas because, uh, you know, it's still spicy the other day, the next day, if you know what I mean. Um, if you don't know what I mean, your shit is still spicy, and that's quite an experience. Um, you know, spicy asshole isn't something you normally experience. Well, I don't normally experience, except for I do now because I have at least one of these a week. Um, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a drug. Um, here it comes. It's gonna come any second. I can feel it starting to beat up on my head. Anyway, I don't know why I like this shit so much, but I could eat it every single day. I once said that to the, um, the guys in the Indian restaurant. Let's see, there's an Indian restaurant right next door to my shop. And, um, yeah. They love me so much because I um, take their boxes from the couriers when uh, they're not open yet. And um, they give me an entire meal for a fiver. So I have one at least once a week. It's cheaper than a fucking hamburger, for Christ's sake. It was about... This is to a fucking hamburger and chips. What a Porsche is to a Volkswagen. I mean, there's no fucking comparison. My fucking mouth is on fire! I'm telling you. Oh my God. Anyway, I don't normally show myself this way on YouTube, so I thought it was about time. I fucking love this shit. It's very good. Have I said that yet? This is the best dinner in the world. 
Oh, yeah. I said to the Indian guys next door to me, I said, I'd love to eat this shit every single day. And they told me it would probably eat through my stomach wall. It probably would. I have no idea what is in it. But um, someone once asked me um, what spices are in a fowl. And I said, I think all of them. And they thought I was kidding. But I'm not kidding. I think every single spice on the planet is in this thing in some fucking proportion or another. Oh my God, my lips are on fire. If I kissed you right now, your lips would be on fire. It's just sitting on top of my head right now. Waiting to come out. Fucking A. It's coming. I can feel it. Oh dear. It's like a purge from the inside out. And it all comes out at once. I can't believe I got this far without it pouring down my face yet. I'm almost like halfway done here. <clears throat> Fuck me, man. I don't like curries without chicken, though. I've tried lamb ones, and it just doesn't work for me. And um, I tried prawn ones. Ugh. No. No. Seafood and spice, no. Hang on, here it comes. Hang on. Oh dear. Can you see my senses are struggling? My eyes are watery and puffy. I keep on getting snivels. In my head, man, my head. I'm telling you, here it comes, look. Ready? Pour it off there, man. Holy my goodness. Whew. That is one hot fucking curry. It's got that funk. May all your ups and downs be ups.